Hey guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you another key repair video today. We're going to show you how to do the larger keys, the space key and the enter key specifically, uh, on a Dell laptop computer. So the only thing you'll need for this is a small flathead screwdriver, uh, not a normal household utility one, it's too big. So try to get a small one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to slide this or wedge this underneath your key cap which is this top part, but we're going to try to hold down the retainer clip that's underneath this that you can't see. Uh, so since you can't see it, go slow, feel your way out, uh, and I'll show you why we're doing that after I get this off. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So wedge it under, alright, alright so now that I've taken it off and wrecked everything underneath, let, let me show you what's going on under here. Alright, so this is what it looks like underneath. What I was doing with my flathead is while getting it under this part, I was trying to hold down this black retainer clip. And the reason why is that this is made of very flimsy, very uh, thin plastic. If you just grab your keycap and, and pull, uh, it'll bend and it'll break. Um, so I'm trying to use this to hold that down while I pull this off. So as you can see, you have two retainer clips here because it's a larger key. Your smaller keys will only have one. Uh, you have a uh, rubber bouncy ball, which is common. They all have them. And then you have this uh, metal stabilizer bar running along the top. And if you look under this, you have another one that runs along the bottom and then one that's in the middle. You actually have a bunch of them on this one, so I'm going to take this out, actually. And put this back where it goes. Now those little stabilizer bars, they fit into little metal holes on the sides. Um, and they don't snap into place, they're kind of free-flowing, so they move around. Now I'm going to show you how to take off one of these retainer clips. Let's say you bought a laptop or you bought a keyboard rather, and you're salvaging its key to replace yours with, I'll show you how to take this off safely. There's four metal pins, or metal brackets, one on, uh, two on the bottom corners, two near the top corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push up on the retainer clip with my finger while slowly and gently trying to pry this plastic out from under that metal bracket. And this is where you're going to break it if at any point you do, because it's very thin, it's the thinnest part, and if you don't pry it out, then you'll just snap it on the metal. So, push up, pry it out. Okay, next side, push up, pry it out. Okay. So you may not be able to see this very well, but I'll describe to you how it looks. Right near those top corners, there were metal brackets holding them down, and this is the thinnest piece of plastic on these corners. So it would break very easily if you were to just pull it up. So I was trying to push up on the bracket and uh, pry it out from under. So that's, in my opinion, the hardest part of this is getting that off. So now to put it back on, we're going to go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, we're going to put the top on last. So set this retainer clip back down bottom first. Make sure that the bottom is snugly under there. Uh, two metal metal brackets, and then all you do is push in the top and snap it into place. Snap, snap. So you would repeat that process with this one if you were salvaging it, and then you would put these stabilizer bars in. You try to line them up. You try to get them centered as much as possible. This may take several attempts because um, they do kind of just lay wherever. So lay those down as centered as as as, as you can get. It's kind of guesswork. Then make sure your middle ones are snapped down into place. And then just put this on and snap it in. Okay, so luckily I didn't have to try that five times. Um, but you may, if, if it's not perfectly centered and, and those bars aren't perfectly lined up, you may have to, you know, stop, move it over, reline them up, try to put it on again. But you'll get it eventually. It's just trial and error. Now the enter key, I'll show you the enter key underneath that. It, it, it's the same thing, just on a smaller scale. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay. 
So, oh, I knocked that out of whack. I'll put that back first. Okay. So as you can see, you don't have two retainer clips. You have one because it's a smaller key. You still have your rubber bouncy ball. And you have two of the metal stabilizer bars, top and bottom, and none in the middle because it's smaller. So same exact thing, it looks the same exact way. You would take that retainer clip off the same way. And then when putting this back on, you do it the same way. Put these metal retainer bars in there, or your stabilizer bars. Line it up as much as you can by eye. Put this on, snap it in place. Luckily, it worked the first time too. So that's how you would change out your keys. Um, if this video was helpful, please like and share. Uh, if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much.